The year was 1996, Monday morning to be exact. I was born on that fateful day in the wee hours of the morning on July 22nd, 1996. And then after that, on July 8th, I was at the beach with my family and I created this Instagram account called Pop Punk Merch Wall. And that is what we're gonna be talking about today. So let's effing do that, dude, like right now. What is going on, my mates? Hope everyone's been well. Hope your Easter was at the very least decent or tolerable. Trust me, I do care. I just just want everyone to have a good time. You know that page on Instagram that only posts high quality original content? Well, whichever account popped in your head would essentially be the antithesis of the account that I run on Instagram called Pop Punk Merch Wall. For the last four years, on and off, I've been running Pop Punk Merch Wall, and in that time period, I've received some questions that I really feel like deserve a proper response. And as we all know, video is the only way to do a proper response. Today, we will be discussing some of the most important questions questions ever, such as how and why did I start Pop Punk Merch Wall, discuss why the content has kind of changed over the years, and finally touch on the ever-changing landscape that is Pop Punk and social media. Chapter 1, why slash how did I start Pop Punk Merch Wall? Do you know why 2014 was an interesting year? Well, yeah, I mean, sure, the, the whole Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappearance thing was pretty, pretty gripping, I'll give you that, but something else happened in the year of 2014. I created the Pop Punk Merch Wall Instagram page and changed rock and roll forever. At this point in time, I was nearing the peak of my obsession with what we'll call alternative music. Music, pop punk, emo rock, indie rock, just all that stuff, dude. But dude, Nate, don't you still effing love alternative music? Yeah, dude, for sure. But but 2010 through 2016 was a period where I was just obsessed with music, music in general. For instance, I'd stay up all night watching interviews for my favorite bands, go on Bandcamp every single day to find new bands, discover all the great new upcoming acts on Bandcamp.com. I'd always have headphones in. I was buying as much vinyl as I possibly could, those types of things. And that's the thing, dude, I still really love all of that stuff, but I do have to be honest with the younger mates and just say, when you're in high school or middle school or any of those grades, you have significantly more time to do things like this. So my advice is to let music absolutely consume your life during that time period. It's honestly really fun. I'm just gonna be straight up 100% honest. If your parents aren't concerned, you're not listening to enough music, dude. All right. So I had all this pent up energy that was my burning passionate desire for alternative music. And I didn't know where to put it. I didn't have any friends that enjoyed the same music as me. I had a few friends online, but that was really it. I mean, there were occasional YouTube comment threads that I'd participate in, or maybe alternative press would post a picture on Instagram and people would be commenting on it. But really that was it. I had absolutely no place to go on and on and on with other people about how much I liked this particular style of music. I saw that something was lacking and in my head I was going I need to solve this non-existent problem and of course at the time there were music pages on Instagram but the thing was none of them were niche enough and what I mean by that is it was too broad for example alternative press alternative rock and roll bands and music that can really be anything dude so I basically saw that there were no pop punk specific pages and I thought to myself hey that really really needs to be changed it's just super important to me that that has changed see that's the thing dude I knew that there was a passionate community for this type of music but no one had taken the initiative to funnel all of these people down into one specific account I saw a hole that needed to be filled and I thought hey that is the perfect place to channel my love and energy for alternative music so that's where I put my energy dude it went like this like I just I just honestly love music dude I know that it's it's kind of weird and quirky but at the end of the day that's that's just what I love I love music all right dude go ahead and cut to the next scene for me. I was at this place called Pismo Beach with my mom, my dad, and my sister, which would be all of my immediate family. We're staying at this hotel called the Oxford Suites. You honestly gotta stay there, dude. It's freaking sweet. I remember on that particular trip, I was I was really jamming out hard to these three bands just because, I don't know, it just felt appropriate for the beach weather. I, I don't know why. I was listening to a lot of Turnstile. I think that was when they only had their EPs out, and then Aaron West in the Roaring Twenties, his debut LP, and then American Football, their self-titled of course. My passion for this type of music was just literally so high that I quite literally could not contain myself. I swear, it was that dramatic, dude. So what I did was I took that inability to contain myself and I said, hey dude, I'm just gonna take the... 
out and then put it right here and create the pop punk merch wall instagram account on july 18th 2014. the first picture that i ever posted to the account was a picture of parker cannon of course i was talking about how i thought it was cool that he stuck up for one of his fans and low-key fought a security guard i believe this was the warp tour encounter parker cannon i love you dude oh well hey that's actually a perfect segue into chapter two why did i change the content that i post just so everyone knows this is going to be filmed over the course of two to three days just in case anyone gets confused and i change a shirt in the middle of the video it's it's not magic it's just that on different days i'll just wear different shirts and i film on different days so it's not it's not magic or anything it's just you know I'm just going to briefly touch on these next two topics. Why I changed the content that I post, as well as how pop punk and Instagram and social media has changed over the last five years. As you know, these days on pop punk merch wall, I mainly stick to posting memes and any other garbage content that I'm able to get my hands on. And I do this for two reasons. The first one being, I now have lots of very talented friends that have their own meme accounts, pages, that post incredible original content that I would like to bring more attention to. It works out very very, very well because it allows me to be lazy and promote my friend's content at the same time. Everyone wins. The second reason is that the old style of content that I used to post just doesn't work anymore and that's just the nature of the internet. You either adapt and evolve or you fade away. Back when I started pop punk merch wall, Tumblr edits were absolutely huge. So my main source of content at that time was just going on Tumblr and finding hella aesthetic images and just sharing them on the page. This type of content just does not yield the amount of engagement that memes do and that makes total sense because memes are literally dominating the entire world right now and that's all there really is to it the content has changed over the years because the internet has changed over the years and the content that people want back then isn't the same type of content that people want now just like on youtube if you go back to 2007 the content is very very different people desire a different type of content now i really wish there was some bigger grand story to explain why the content has changed but that's really it i'm trying to keep this as clear and concise as possible so so content has changed because the internet's changed that's it chapter three how pop punk and instagram have changed for just a second imagine a world where instagram has no algorithm and you see every post from every single person that you are following well it actually used to be like that and let me tell you it was way easier to grow accounts back then you could run like and follow bots all day with no repercussions the wild west days of instagram were truly outstanding times as much as i despise how fickle the instagram algorithm can be it has done some good for the platform for the most part growth can only be achieved organically and authentically which is very very cool to me it gives incentive to create quality original content i could honestly go on about instagram for hours so like i said if you want a, a video on that a separate one just just let me know down below but let's quickly touch on how pop punk emo alternative music in general has kind of shifted over the years the absolute biggest thing that i've noticed and i'm sure some og mates can confirm this but bands are no longer synonymous with one another another like they used to be now for example and keep in mind that this is just an example back in the day if you listen to let's say tiger's jaw and the story so far that basically meant that you also listen to bands like basement balance and composure sea haven transit a loss for words citizen the wonder years all those types of bands that doesn't seem to be the case anymore and my theory on that is because over the years all of these bands have, have either broken up or developed and fleshed out their sound now here's a modern day example if today someone told me that they were into basement and tiger's jaw i would not automatically assume that they were also into bands like the story so far in neck deep like i would have assumed in let's say 2012 or 2013 and keep in mind that this is just my perspective and my experience it may not have been the same for you but this is the way that it was for me based on the way that i observed things over the years it really has been a trip and a privilege to see these bands develop into what they are today turn over has quite literally transcended pop punk and what's so cool about that to me is they've managed to keep pretty much all of their original fan base while attracting music fans from different facets of the music universe that is just so exciting to me dude even the story so far has pushed their sound in bold new directions something that i definitely was not expecting from them i'm not gonna lie music is pretty sick my mates thank you so much for watching this video it really does mean a lot to me if you've yet to subscribe just do it right now dude it's literally only four hundred dollars one-time payment literally forever just a one-time payment of four hundred dollars hope everyone has a great rest of their day i'm gonna i'm gonna finish us out with a diet dr pepper shrug so cheers cheers to the beers
I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs>